Hello again, YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well today. We are on the lake. It is muddy. We've had a lot of rain. It's cold. We've had snow. It's There's snow all still on the ground, but we're going to see if we can't catch a few fish today. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a really great show. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use a jig, okay? There's a lot of different types of jigs. Well, a couple different types of jigs, and I'm going to show you guys how to use each one to catch fish. So stick to or stay tuned. Stay with us. We'll be right back. See you in just a second. Ah. Woo! Welcome back, guys. <laughs> ah, that's what I'm talking about. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the uh, intro there. Let's talk about jigs today. All right. Let's talk about the different types of jigs. You guys, right in that sun, aren't you? Um, hang on just a second. Let me pull you out of that sun. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the types of jigs and when to use the different types of jigs and how to use the different types of jigs to put fish like this in the boat, okay? So first of all, drop this fish in the live well here. All right, let's get that live well running. All right, guys, so let's talk about the different kinds of jigs. First of all, as you know, my favorite, the stump bug okay it's not really considered an action tail jig okay so the stump bug again it's not really considered an action tail jig it's considered more um, of a, a minna type jig you kind of get that minna that uh, that straight tail it's not really it doesn't have the curly tail doesn't have a paddle tail it's more just a straight tail jig kind of a straight um, just subtle approach okay and then you've got your action tail jigs similar to something like a slider okay so you've got your action tail jigs something like a Charlie Brewer slider that's got a paddle tail on it okay it's like a swim jig almost so you've got your action tail jigs and what I like to call your straight tail or your non action tail jigs okay now don't get me wrong you're gonna have action okay you're gonna have action with these jigs. Even the straight tail jig, you're gonna get some action. There's gonna be some tail movement. You guys can see there's some tail movement in that jig, okay? But it's not necessarily an action tail jig. So let's talk a little bit about how I fish a non-action tail jig and an action tail jig to put fish in the boat. All right, let's go get another one. All right, guys. So non-action tail jig, a straight tail jig, if you will. Let's talk about how I work that jig okay um, it's pretty simple okay guys this is kind of a presentation where you know I'll find the fish I'll pitch out okay we're gonna let that jig fall All right we're gonna let that jig fall down to the fish and then what we're gonna do is we're kind of gonna use a stop and go presentation okay it's what I like to call a stop and go presentation so we're just gonna kind of we're gonna get on those fish we're gonna give it one two three cranks we're just going to kind of let it set we're going to pop it and twitch it twitch it one two three let it set let it flow twitch 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 all right we don't get hit we're going to bring her back in we're going to try her again we're going to go right down through the fish again all right pretty muddy today so we're trying to keep it in front of the fish as long as we can okay 
twitch twitch just kind of ease it sorry about the wind twitch twitch and we're hung on a limb twitch twitch Couldn't stay off the limbs that time, guys. One. All right, one, two, three, there he is. There he is, guys. Another nice one, another nice fish. Another nice fish right there. <clears throat> another nice white crappie, pretty fish. Right in the top of the mouth. So that's again, how I use a, a, a non-action tail jig, okay guys? I hope that helps. Some nice fish. All right, so the way we're going to use an action tail, <clears throat> it's kind of the exact opposite. We're not going to stop, okay? We're going to cast that jig down there. We're going to nice, slow, steady retrieve. Hang on. Nice, slow, steady retrieve is the right way to fish. An action tail jig, guys. Got him. Nice steady retrieve, guys. Nice slow steady retrieve. That's how you want to fish <clears throat> an action tail bait. It's a little guy, but he came out of there and got it. Nice slow steady retrieve. He walked, come out of there and whacked it. Let's see if we can get another one. Come here, baby. What's going on with you? How's your mama? How's your friends? How's everybody doing? That's what I'm talking about. Again, that's that non-action tail jig, guys. We're having to slow down, okay? They didn't want that action tail jig. They're not wanting to chase. It's cold. Had a cold front, snow yesterday. So we really had to slow down and go to that, uh, that bonehead tackle stump bug, okay? With no action and kind of slow it down, dead stick it a little bit, but we're in 35 feet of water right now. It's a nice fish. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Go tell your mama to, to bite my jig. See ya. Got him. 
feels like a decent fish. Oh yeah, good fish. <laughs> good fish right there, guys. All right, guys, that's on the non-action tail stump bug, bonehead tackle stump bug, purple and chartreuse. That's going to do it for today's episode. I want you guys to remember that there's two different types of baits, an action tail jig and a non-action tail jig. They have their purposes and they have their times, okay? Uh, fish, when fish are very aggressive, uh, in the spring especially, an action tail jig is absolutely awesome on brush piles, structure. An action tail jig will get bites, reaction strikes from fish. Uh, but most of the time, I'm using that bonehead tackle stump bug, that non-action tail jig. That way I can slow down, I can pick apart these brush piles, and I can pull these fish out of them. So I hope that helps you guys. As always, God bless. I appreciate y'all coming along. Go pick you up some action tail jigs, some non-action tail jigs. You need them both in your tackle box. Appreciate it. God bless as always. We'll catch you guys later.